we're here at MSI and I uh, see so you have a new motherboard here. Yeah, it's actually our Z77 gaming line of motherboards. It's a new, well, it's a refresh of an existing line of motherboards. Uh, the biggest thing is it's uh, upgraded visuals. And we also have the new Killer E2200 network card on board. I mean, really, that is the biggest thing different from the regular uh, series of Z77 boards that we have. Now the regular ones, most of them have uh, Intel NICs, or what do they usually have? Actually, the ones that we had before, uh, depending on which model, it was either uh, Realtek or Intel. But Killer NIC is actually optimized for gaming. They, uh, when you're, it's not like, um, if you have a dedicated gaming machine, it's not gonna make a gigantic uh, difference. But if your gaming system also runs like iTunes, uh, YouTube, have stuff, uh, other stuff going on in the background, and it's also your primary PC for, for you know, everything else, the uh, Killer Network actually prioritizes the uh, network traffic so that it's, it's uh, it, the, the, game, the, the game packets, if you will, are, are, are always prioritized, especially when you have it running uh, yeah, just, full screen. Just better packet management. Yes, exactly. The heat sinks themselves are actually a, a, uh, a dragon design. The heat sinks themselves, actually the side profile is, uh, is the same as our dragon logo. The uh, dragon logo was actually borrowed from our gaming notebooks because that's already been established for quite some time. But um, the overall board is uh, enhanced visually. Nice and we also, TV. Exactly, and then we also have a uh, Sound Blaster Cinema, which is an enhanced uh, uh, codec uh, that's on, on the board as well. The memory dims uh, have a better mapping. It's called T-topology. It's uh, the, the traces are improved so that it actually supports up to DDR3 3000 uh, memory speed. So that would be the fastest in, in the world. I've seen 2800. I haven't even seen. So it had to be overclocking, right? No, no, no. Corsair actually has 3,000 3, megahertz now? modules now. So, so that's pretty insane. So now that it's up to well, now now it's getting to the point where you start calling it three gig instead of 3,000 megahertz, right? Yeah. So looking forward to trying it out. Yeah. When's this going to be available? Uh, early to mid April. A few weeks. All right. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Alex. Sure. No problem.